Yo, Snapchat, it's 2 p.m. and I haven't put a story out yet, so clearly I'm hungover. Let's talk about CRISPR quickly. Uh, I watched this really cool TED Talk yesterday. So yeah, go watch this lady. TED Talk, uh, Jennifer Kahn, gene editing can now change an entire species forever. I'm uh, really craving chicos, so you guys come to the beach with me. Let's go. So CRISPR is this insanely uh, powerful gene editing technique, it's pre pretty new, um, where they can actually uh, find and replace very specific sets of genes within the DNA. So one specific use case is to actually uh, genetically engineer mosquitoes to be malaria resistant and then release that into the population so that, that gene spreads through the generations. Currently malaria kills about 1200 people per day and most of those are children um, and the biggest reason why malaria kills so many people is because mosquitoes spread that disease around. So we've actually tried to do a similar program before, genetically modify mosquitoes to be malaria resistant and release them. But the problem is like, like any generational um, kind of progress, there's variations. Normally in biology, there's that rule where, um, you know that age old thing of like, you know, if, if, the, if your mother has blue eyes and your dad has uh, brown eyes, like which is the more dominant gene and it's varied. Sometimes the kids will have blue eyes, sometimes they'll have brown eyes, because it's essentially like four different uh, probabilities of what they come out as. But CRISPR does something completely different and fucks up the entire rule. So what CRISPR is capable of doing is finding the right genes um, and modifying it to, to the point where 100% of all generations beyond that will carry that gene. So you'll literally reprogram that. And what that, what that means is with previous techniques, you would have had to breed 10 times the mosquito population and release it into the wild for that, for that gene to kind of carry over. But this, uh, this one, you don't need that. They reckon now what they can do is actually just breed 1% of the population um, and then within the space of a year when they release that, malaria will basically be wiped out because that gene will spread throughout the entire species. We're maybe two, three years away from it being able to do that, which is fucking insane, because you can do that with any species. That means now we have the power to actually change, permanently change the evolution of any species on the planet. Luckily with humans, we have such a long like breeding cycle that um, uh, the, the generational, there's not much of a threat, because it would take like, you know, decades, maybe 100 years for the thing to actually spread through. The and what this means is that the entire biosphere right now and every single species on this planet becomes a computational process that we can fuck with. We can alter the code permanently and then see how that flows throughout the system. And this technique is really easy, like high school kids can basically do it. We're not quite perfected, we haven't quite perfected it yet, but it will be very soon, within maybe two, three years. Actually, something we might end up having to do is uh, simulate the species, like simulate all their genetic codes and how they interact with each other in the environment in a computer before we actually go and make those changes. I've also had another idea where we just put aside 25% of the, um, the Earth's surface for non-genetically modified engineer, uh, engineering activities and then just fuck with the rest of the planet. So anyway, I just fucking love this idea of just looking at uh, every species you see now, uh, all of the biosphere, and just knowing that it's a, it's a simple program that you can hack and you can mess with any way you want. Okay, the other cool thing with all of this is that even though you can uh, completely change a species within one year, so the mosquito example, you can actually reverse it. So it goes both ways, which is so awesome.